Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Casking Q. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, today's a special episode. It's whole hog with my buddy, Neil. Hello. This is his first time on the, uh, on the channel. We got a 90 pound hog that we've got butterflies sitting in the ice chest right now. And behind us, we got the cinder block pit going. So stick around. <music> All right, so my sleepyhead buddy, Jason Miller, crawled out of bed. He met us over here. So we got this dude uh, butterflied. I, I didn't record that part, so basically we went right down the, the breastbone. Took a sawzall and makes it real easy. All you gotta do is find the uh, bone that's you know, right under its neck and follow that line down and crack it open. So uh, we're gonna get you a shot of these guys doing some trimming on the, uh, you know, opening the hams up, getting that skin separated from the meat, and uh, we'll be right back. So you can see right there uh, where that cut was made. Came in right under, right under its neck. And that's the hard bone at the very top I'm talking about. And we just followed that all the way down. So we just pulled down on each side of the, uh, of the ribs and pressed it down to lay it flat. And, and uh, we're gonna cook this skin side down. Uh, I like to do that because this kind of creates a bowl. Let's all the juices collect and keeps the pork uh, really moist. Isn't that right, Neil? That's right. Yeah, isn't that right, Jason? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here we just got a cinder block pit. Um, I didn't do a video on this one but you can find a million of them out there. Um, just regular center blocks, uh, five foot rebar, and uh, we've already started a coal bed in each corner. Uh, we just got lump charcoal with some uh, sticks of wood that we have burning in this little fire pit over here. Um, we started this about an hour and a half, two hours ago, just so we'll have a good coal bed. Um, I also have uh, pavers down there at the bottom instead of just uh, regular ground. The reason I did that is to help retain heat throughout the, uh, the chamber of the hog pit. So let's go back over to these guys where they're trimming. So this cookout is for our gym buddies over at Iron Gym in Benton, Arkansas, and Legacy Athletics. That's Jason Miller, he's the owner, and then my old buddy Neil, he's known that old dude forever. He's about dead. Um, close. But what they're doing right there, they're just working on separating the skin uh, from the hams. As you can see there, the reason we like to do that is so we can get more rub onto the hams, you know, impart more flavor. And that's probably about all you need right there on that. And then um, same thing on the shoulders. That's a little tricky because what we'll have to do is cut under that rib. Um, some people do that and some people don't. It doesn't really matter because in the end, um, we're going to just kind of mix this all together. It's going to be a pig picking. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, so uh, we're gonna inject this hog with uh, some Cosmos injection. Uh, I used this at a competition, at a uh, barbecue competition here a couple months ago. And uh, we came in third place with this stuff with uh, pulled pork. So we're gonna give it a shot again. We'll mix this up. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot. This has phosphates in it to help tenderize the meat. This is the Cosmos pork injection. They've got on their website, all kinds of other stuff. But I'm just using a uh, just regular, you know, uh, protein bottle shaker, whatever you call it, uh, with a little mixer bottle, uh, little mixer ball at the bottom. All right, so we just filled this up with water, just shake it up real good. All right, so we got our injection mixed up. We're just gonna hit these hams real quick. I'm gonna show you how we do one of them, and then uh, I'm gonna put these other fellows to work. And there are, you know, these awesome injectors that have three needles and a pump and all that. For what I'm doing here, I don't need that, but um, to each his own on that. So what we want to do is just kind of go into the ham, create a pocket, move that needle around a little bit, put some injection in there, and we just want to go kind of in a grid pattern. Do the same thing, because the hams are the, the part that's going to be the most, uh, I'd say the most lean, I guess. So we want to make sure that we really blow those hams up. You can already see, Neil, if you can get a, a closer shot. So once we hit that injection in there, you'll be able to see that ham blow up. See that? One more, I think we'll be good on this guy. And really we're just gonna hit the shoulders about the same. Uh, probably don't have to worry quite as much. And the rest of the hog, we're just gonna let it roll like it is. It's got plenty of fat. 
and we'll move on to the next one. All right, so we're gonna hit our first application of rub. Uh, we're just going with AP, Killer Hogs AP. There's plenty to go around. So uh, we just wanna do this as a nice, uh, even application. This is kind of just your base layer of seasoning. It's got salt, pepper, garlic, onion, uh, and some other stuff. I'm not sure what all is in there besides that. But it's just a general purpose rub. We want to make sure we pull the skin back. Hit those hams. Hit the bacon. Okay, so next, uh, Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. I got just a little bit left in this can. I got another one sitting over there. This has a really good color. Lots of uh, barbecue flavors in here, your traditional barbecue flavors. Um, you got paprika, salt, pepper, uh, some sugar. Get that bacon. All right. We got a fire going. Everything's looking good. So we're just using a mix of uh, lump charcoal and uh, actual uh, splits, as you can see down here. But we're gonna roll today with briquettes because that's gonna give us a longer burn. Uh, lump charcoal tends to burn hot and fast. so. That's not what we're looking for. Um, so we're gonna uh, get this lid covered up. You guys wanna go ahead and take care of that part? Or the fire pit covered up, I should say. And we're just using some roofing tin or whatever you call it, that stuff. Uh, my buddy Brian cut that for us from his shed. All right, so we'll put some probes in the, uh, in the hams and in the shoulders here in just a little bit. Once the, the pig's been on there for a while, we'll monitor the temperatures that way. And uh, we'll check in throughout the cook. Uh, here right now, we're just shoveling in more coals. Um, we're about an hour and a half, maybe, was it two hours maybe? Somewhere in there in, uh, along in this cook. The uh, pit is holding temperature really well. We've been around 250 degrees. Uh, well, between 225 and 250 most of the time. Neil's over there shoveling coals from the, uh, from our fire pit. <clears throat> We've just been running these logs ever since, uh, well, before we even started uh, putting the hog on. So we've kept uh, some coals going and we're using a mix of that and some lump and, uh, and briquettes. So that's what she's looking like right now. Um, I'll probably probe the, I'll probably probe the hams maybe in another hour or two, just kind of see where we are, but good color. Everything's going according to plan. All right, so uh, temperature got down to about 225 in the pit. Um, which is okay because it's time to spritz this hog some more. I'm just right now. I'm just using an apple cider vinegar and water mix, but I'm going to switch over to a uh, to an actual spritz that I bought from Fire Dancer Bar Barbecue here, here in uh, Benton, Arkansas. He's a competition guy, and got to meet him. Real nice fella. And Neil's over there just shoveling more coals in from that fire over there. So that's what we got, and we'll be back. All right, so uh, we've been going for how long, Neil? What are we? Four hours. About four hours in, keeping it at about 250, give or take 10 or 15 degrees here and there. So we're just going to hit with another spritz. Come over here and get a look at this hog, see what kind of color we got. It's looking good. We got golden brown. And I'm just making sure that we're staying moist and not burning anything, not charring anything. I'm not worried about the skin on the bottom. Remember that. looking really good. It smells awesome already, but don't be fooled, it's not ready yet. Probably hit that back ham with some uh, rub here in a second.
YouTube video of the whole hog cook, by the way. So if you're shy, then this ain't your deal. Oh, look at that guy. It's all natural to deal. Look at that guy complaining. So we've uh, we've reached the internal temperature of about a hundred. Oh shit, my head. About 180 degrees. There's a fire pit behind me. Where's my oh, Mike? There's Mike. There's my buddy Mike. His name's Chris, actually. So that's what we're looking like. Looking good. Smelling good. Or 178. That shoulder, but we we think it's a little bit more than that. I think we've misplaced that probe. I think the probe should be right Inner here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, probe right yeah, yeah. Go down further. Yep. That's good. You need more rib bones, though. Yeah, there we go. It's like the last dude that pissed me off. What's in, dude? Oh, yeah. 193. We're good. So this thing is ready to pull off. I'm going to let these fine gentlemen here that I went to high school with barely. Not really. I'm gonna let those guys take care of that. Right, so we gotta take all so we're gonna have to remove these cinder blocks right here. How old is this? No, not, no, 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 look. All you gotta do is come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neil's been drinking vodka all day in the middle of summer. How old is this guy? Yep. Yeah, what was his name? Yeah, what was the his pig? What was his name and how old was he? I don't know. Sam the Ham. Sam the Ham. Sam Swan Ronson. Swan Ronson. What did we name this pig? We didn't. Floyd was originally suggested. Floyd? But that's too close to my last name, so I'm not I'm not digging that. Yep. Looking good, looking good, fellas. So I'm gonna grab if you grab, three. yeah, there you go. Grab some of those rebar. I like how I invite people over and tell them to cook and do all the work. It's good. Alright, we're gonna go straight to that table. Yep. Yeah. Well, come around. There we go. We're ready for a pig picking. <laughs> They call those hogs, baby. Look at Rooster over there. Man, that looks hella good. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Moisture. Man, that's a young hog, dude. Sir. 90 pounds for a hog that young? Mm -hmm. They fed this butt up. How young he is? So we went about 10 hours on this one. Oh God, look at that. And it is oh, money. Look, look, there. look at that. Uh -huh. Get some of that. Get some of that hog jaw. Hog jaw. Hey. Yeah. Yep. I like it. Now let's get in there. Pull it right there. Pull that off. What's up? Hog jaw, hey. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. So, that's what we got. That's what we're going to end with. Thanks for stopping by Cast and Q, Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. We'll see you next time.